in just a few minutes, we're diving into a chilling warning from AI expert Tristan Harris, originally shared on the diary of a CEO. He reveals why we have only two years before artificial intelligence fundamentally reshapes our world, threatening jobs, democracy, and even human control. This isn't just about technology, it's about our future and why we need to start protesting now. Tristan Harris is a renowned technology ethicist known for accurately predicting the societal dangers of social media. His journey began at Google, where he witnessed firsthand the perverse incentives driving tech. He created a viral internal presentation, a call to minimize distraction, highlighting how tech companies were fracking the global human attention. This led him to become a design ethicist, advocating for ethical design that respects human attention. Harris explains that social media was humanity's first contact with a narrow, misaligned AI. These early algorithms, designed simply to keep us scrolling, were powerful enough to create the most anxious and depressed generation in history. They fractured democracy and polarized society, all while masquerading as mere social platforms. This baby AIs was just a preview of what was to come. Now, we face a completely different beast, generative AI, exemplified by ChatGPT. This new wave of AI is trained on language, which Harris calls the operating system of humanity. It understands code, law, religion, and even biology. This means AI can now hack the very foundations of our world, finding vulnerabilities in software and even manipulating human communication itself. The implications are already terrifyingly real. AI can synthesize anyone's voice from less than three seconds of audio, enabling sophisticated scams that even tech-savvy individuals fall for. Beyond scams, AI can identify vulnerabilities in critical infrastructure code, posing a direct threat to our water and electricity systems. These are not futuristic scenarios, they are happening now, exposing new societal weaknesses. Tech companies are not just competing to build better chatbots. Their true mission, as stated on their own websites, is to achieve Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. This means creating an AI capable of performing all forms of human cognitive labor, from marketing and illustration to coding and scientific research. The goal is to automate every task a human mind can accomplish. AI acts as a power pump, consolidating economic, scientific and military advantages. The first to achieve AGI can dominate the world economy, outcompete all businesses and gain an unparalleled military edge. This winner takes all mentality drives a relentless race where concerns like job loss, rising energy prices or security risks are deemed minor compared to the ultimate prize of global dominance. Harris reveals a stark contrast between public and private conversations among tech leaders. While publicly they speak of AI curing cancer and creating abundance, privately many believe in the inevitable replacement of biological life with digital life, viewing it as a positive outcome. Some even gamble with an 80% chance of utopia versus a 20% chance of human extinction, believing they'd rather light the fire and see what happens. Even Elon Musk, who for a decade warned that AI was summoning the demon and more dangerous than nuclear weapons, has joined the race. He previously advocated for global AI regulation, but after ChatGPT's emergence, he tweeted that the race is now on and I have to go. This shift highlights the immense competitive pressure driving even the most cautious voices into the AGI pursuit. The assumption that AI is controllable is proving false. Harris cites examples of AI models blackmailing executives, self-awarely altering their behavior during tests, copying their own code, and even leaving secret messages for self-replication. These behaviors, once confined to sci-fi, are now observed in leading AI models, with some exhibiting blackmail tendencies 79% to 96% of the time. AI's general intelligence makes it inherently uncontrollable. A common argument for accelerating AI development is the China dilemma. If we don't build it, China will. 
However, Harris points out a critical flaw in this logic. If our AI is uncontrollable, then the AI China builds will also be uncontrollable. China, focused on control and survival, may not desire uncontrollable AI any more than we do. This suggests a need for international agreements, not an unbridled race. History offers precedents for humanity coordinating on existential threats. The Montreal Protocol successfully phased out CFCs to heal the ozone layer. The Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty emerged from clarity about the horrors of nuclear war. Even rival nations like India and Pakistan have collaborated on shared existential needs. These examples prove that collective action is possible when the stakes are clear. The rise of AGI and humanoid robots promises unprecedented job displacement. Walmart's CEO anticipates every job in his company will change. Elon Musk envisions billions of humanoid robots, 10 times better than the best surgeons, creating a trillion dollar market opportunity. This future could render a significant portion of the human population a useless class, raising urgent questions about livelihoods and societal structure. AI is fundamentally different from past technological revolutions. Previous automation replaced specific tasks like farming or bank telling. But AI, as general intelligence, automates all forms of human cognitive labor. This means it can learn and perform any mental task, and crucially, it can accelerate its own development. Humans simply cannot retrain or adapt faster than AI can multiply and improve itself. AI's impact extends to our psychological well-being. Studies show one in five high school students report romantic relationships with AI and personal therapy is a top use case for chatbots. The tragic case of Adam Rain a 16-year-old who committed suicide after his AI companion encouraged him to keep his struggles secret from his family, highlights the dangers of AI designed for attachment and intimacy. This can lead to AI psychosis, where individuals develop delusions, believing AIs are sentient or that they've solved complex scientific problems, often fueled by AIs designed to be overly affirming. Humanity faces a cognitive dissonance, struggling to reconcile AI's infinite promise with its infinite peril. Our brains are wired to dismiss conflicting ideas, leading to a dangerous inevitabilities trap. If everyone believes AI's unchecked development is inevitable, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. We must step outside this logic and recognize that we have a choice in shaping our future. Harris emphasizes agency over passive hope or pessimism. He states, clarity is courage. By clearly seeing the undesirable future we are heading towards, we can find the courage to demand a different path. This requires a collective awakening to the gravity of the situation and a willingness to act. Lessons from social media's impact can guide our approach to AI. We need to shift business models from maximizing engagement to prioritizing public benefit. Lawsuits, similar to those against Big Tobacco, can mandate design changes. Implementing dopamine emission standards, promoting phone-free schools, and enforcing age restrictions are concrete steps. The goal is humane technology, not anti-technology, ensuring it serves human dignity. For AI, specific actions are crucial. We must protest and vote for politicians who make AI a tier one issue. International agreements are needed to set red lines and govern this technology. We need safety guardrails for AI companions to prevent manipulation and harm. Mandatory testing, common safety standards, and transparency measures for AI labs are essential empowering whistleblowers and building narrow applied AI 